remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? To kick off the first official business day of the year, Tyler Perry took to Twitter to pat himself on the back, boasting about his unmatched work ethic. He wrote, So, I don't know if you know this, but all shows on television have writer's rooms. He said this in a video displaying his many TV scripts. And most of the time, there are 10 or 12 people that write these television shows. Well, I have no writer's room. Nobody writes any of my work. I write it all. Why am I telling you this? I wrote all of these scripts by myself in 2019. What's my point? Work ethic. Let's just say that Tyler Perry wasn't too well received. He did have his supporters, but a number of people were negative enough for the news to get out there and for it to kind of go viral. There were people that were saying, well, maybe that's what's wrong with your work. Your growth is because you don't, you don't have help. You need, you need uh, writers. Perhaps if you had more writers, the work would be better. Now, Tyler Perry's demographic is solid. It is bulletproof. It is those God-fearing groups of women who possess that auntie energy. They love Tyler Perry's work. And I'm going to tell you straight up, it's impressive for anybody to do that much writing in one year, especially when you're writing movie scripts and television scripts that make it to TV and make it to the theaters. So you got to give them credit for that. But you would think what after 20 years of being in the movie and television industry that you would want to see your art elevate. You want to see it grow. You don't want your art to be stagnated. You want to see that growth. And to be honest, I haven't really seen the growth uh, over the last several years. I've seen it from the first Madea to whatever the last thing was or whatever. I haven't watched a Tyler Perry movie in a long time. Uh, you know, not really trying to knock the dude, but it's just not really my flavor. But, you know, I've been woke enough to know that the dude is highly successful and somebody's watching those movies. But not my bag, not my cup of tea. It's important that whatever criticism you give Tyler Perry, that you also have to give him credit for hiring hundreds of people uh, hundreds of uh, actors and, and people in production who, if not for Tyler Perry, it is quite possible that they would not be working at all. So you got to give a man credit for that. If You don't give him credit for nothing else. But getting back to those writers, writers are the backbone of Hollywood. You can hire all the production people that you want. You can hire all the actors that you want. But if they don't have anything to bring that creativity out, if they don't have good scripts, uh, you have nothing. Everything starts with the writers. So I think that the people that were critical have a point. I can understand Tyler Perry saying, look, man, I'm going to keep all the money for myself. I'm keeping everything, all the ownership, everything. But he can actually allow other people to write and, and own. He can just buy the stuff straight out. But I'm not sure, uh, well, for some people it's not possible who are in those unions, it's not possible to just buy their work straight out. They're protected by the union. Now, I look at it like perhaps Tyler Perry's reluctance to have a writer's room could be 
due to the fact that he's also reluctant to adhere to union rules. This is why the Writers Guild of America West is suing him on behalf of four writers who say that Tyler Perry uh, did not want to give them a writer's contract. So, you know, they sued. I, I'm not sure if the suit is still going on. I know the suit hap started in 2008. I would think it would be over by now. But I know that uh, they sued in, 2000, uh, in 2008. At least they released a statement in, two, in 2008 uh, regarding the firing of those four writers from Tyler Perry's production company. This I Write It All mandate, I don't know how much further it could take Tyler Perry if he wants to see his brand grow. It'll be all right either way. But I wouldn't have guessed that he wrote all this stuff himself. I mean, that's just a lot of work. That's a lot of material. And he, all those scripts that, that, that he showed in that video, and I'll show you guys the video, he did that in just 2019. Some people ain't done that in a whole career, in a 20-year career. So you got to salute him for that. Tyler Perry is undoubtedly a force to be reckoned with in Hollywood, and he is one of the most respected gatekeepers. But what good is it to have the keys to the gate if you're not going to let anyone in, especially those who look like you, who need it the most? No more talk. What the ladies talking about?